Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of race didn't make the history to fit their narrative. To be honest, this channel is in danger, maybe it will gone soon. Therefore, I hope you guys subscribe to my backup channel, so we can stay connected every day. Please check the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is a print taken from an Akkadian cylinder seal recovered from Ur, present-day Iraq, 2300-2100 BC, showing centaurs of two different species. The civilizations of the past left several records of hybrids that walked the Earth. What would be the purpose of such records? Mislead future generations? Leave fanciful examples of the human mind's creativity? Or portray the reality of the time when such records were made? This is a sculpture of a centaur, found in a neighborhood of the city of Caravaca de la Cruz, Spain, known as Centauro de Royos, from the 6th century BC. It is exhibited at the National Museum of Archaeology of Spain. Centaur of Valsi. Between 590 BC and 580 BC. National Etruscan Museum of Villa Giulia, in Rome, Italy. This is a mosaic from the 3rd century BC exhibited in the Archaeological Museum of Pella. This is a medieval relief sculptures of the mythical centaur outside the Romanesque baptistry of Parma, circa 1196. This is a stone statue of the centaur in Pompeii, Italy. And there are some other drawings. Did you know? In 1931, 100 prestigious Austrian and German scientists contributed to a book entitled 100 Otto Rangigen Einstein or 100 Authors Against Einstein, in which they denounced Albert Einstein and accused him of leading science into the realm of pseudo-mysticism, abstraction, and speculation. The Dark Ages as we know lasted about 1,000 years, coincidentally during the time we believe Christ's millennial reign occurred. Isn't it interesting that they call this period the Dark Ages? And they act as if people were just so stupid during this time, there was barely anything written down. Right? But immediately after these Dark Ages ended, all of a sudden it's the era of enlightenment, and all of a sudden we have excess new information on history, science, math, cosmology, theosophy, etc. Could it be that this enlightenment period truly sparked out of nothing? Sounds a bit like the comical Big Bang Theory logic. Or could it be this enlightenment period was their cover-up time, one Satan was unbound? This explains also the boom in Renaissance humanism. It seems there was a heavy amount of covering up, destroying, and false imitation going on during this time. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The grounding effect of walking barefoot, where free electrons from the earth are transferred into your body, is one of the most potent antioxidants known in research. We live our lives mostly insulated from the earth, wearing rubber-soled shoes, living indoors, driving in our cars, etc. Over time, this causes our bodies to become depleted. Touching the ground replenishes our electron balance and restores our lost connection to the earth's energy. Research the benefits of earthing or grounding. Please watch this short video. Did our ancestors know how to move massive stones for the construction of their temples and pyramids with the help of sound? 
Modern science tries to explain the construction of the pyramids with questionable ideas, depicting tens of thousands of slaves, with the help of ropes and pulleys. How did they move the massive stone some weighing up to 100 tons? Modern engineering can't even move many of the stones found in Egypt, and for this reason, many Egyptologists believe the ancient Egyptians possessed some kind of advanced technology, possibly anti-gravity through acoustic levitation. The official mainstream story of how the pyramids were constructed has no proofs whatsoever, and Egyptologists know this. Natural random rock formations, or something more. We are told this phenomena is due to cooled magma, but when have you ever seen magma form nearly perfect hexagonal patterns in such a way? What was the true silicon age, and why could we living in its hollowed out shell? What could have happened in this lost period of our history, and why? Nomadic Saga of the 18th Century rediscovered technology. When we think of pneumatic travel, we often think of futuristic cartoons, or what's known today as the Hyperloop. But, what if these are based on advanced technology of a prior civilization? Throughout the mid-1850s, several more pneumatic railways were built in Dublin, London, and Paris. The London pneumatic dispatch system was meant to transport parcels, but it was large enough to carry people too. To mark its opening, the Duke of Buckingham travelled through it in 1865. Air Tube System UK. Rediscovered, not built. Pneumatic travel wasn't invented in the 1800s, but rediscovered after one of the cataclysms. It was an interconnected system worldwide. The parasites who rewrote history had eliminated all free energy technology and gave this miraculous form of a travel a false narrative. New York City subway, conventional today was introduced in 1904. That's 37 years after the beach pneumatic transit. Look at the subway train, looks exactly the way one would expect from the 1900s. Now here is a look of those 1867 pneumatic train cars looked like. Unfortunately not too many photographs made it through time, but few did. In reality, these tunnels were dug up and rediscovered in the mid-1800s. Look at the brickwork, if the narrative were true, these tunnels would be no more than 30 years old at the time. The weathering clearly indicates these are much older. With a little sweeping up, and some external brickwork, they passed these off as new. These hyperloops even transported people individually. These are a rare photo of a pneumatic railway station, Charing Cross Station in London. Notice the shutter door with a large rolling mechanism to keep air sealed. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.